how can Christians celebrate Christmas this year? That's the difficult thing about this Christmas, because um, with the wars in the Middle East and other parts of the world, it's very difficult for us as Christians. Other parts, other parts are suffering. They are going through some turmoil. And, uh, but no matter what, here's the reason for the season. But in our celebration, we need to think at the back of our minds that there are brothers and sisters who are suffering around the world. And uh, we need to see how will be, they will be part of the history or the, 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 the time for Christmas. And, and it's tough, but when you think about what we've just uh, read in the news about even Bethlehem, there is no celebration. The baby Jesus, you know, the image they are carved in barbed wire, rubble. Uh, you know, what would you say to people in the Middle East right now who wanted to celebrate Christmas, but that's not really the reality? It is not. It is not the reality. And that's why the focus on the festivity is also tough, because many a times Christ needs to be something in our heart. But when the place is disturbed and there is war, people are dying every day, starvation. They have no food. And the annunciation that was made, that it was a good news to bring peace to humanity. But this part of the world, they are suffering. So I just want to encourage those that are in the Middle East and other part of the world not to give up. Christ is real. Christ came to save us. Christ came to deliver us. Even though in their situation, they would think how, you know, with all what we're going through, with all the suffering, how can we celebrate when there's chaos, bombardment all over the place? You know, but yet still, he's the reason for the season. That's one we cannot give up. It's hard to, you know, understand how people can really apply what you're saying, Pastor. When you think about Africa itself, there have been coups and coups in West Africa. There have been turmoil. There have been climate change issues. People are impacted because of the, uh, you know, the inflation. People are not able to feed themselves. So to think about Christmas the way that people know, they go out there, they buy stuff, they celebrate, they buy gifts for other people. Uh, where do they find this peace now that comes from? the Christmas season. That's the thing, like I, like I was saying. The, the, the Christmas story has been diverted, you know, because um, with the kind of situation people are facing, everybody wants to go out and celebrate. Everybody wants to have something, a gift in the Christmas tree. But, you know, there is a great writer, you know, by the name of Roy L. Smith. He says, if you don't have Christ in your heart, if Christmas is not in your heart, you can't find him under the tree. You can't find Christmas under the tree, you know. All we can do is to get him in our heart. I understand the festivity around it. People want to celebrate. They want to be in high spirit. That's the expectation of all of us. You know, but um, it has been diverted. It, like the Pope was saying, you know, peace is what we're expecting around the world. But there is no peace. And so in the celebration, while we are celebrating, others are crying, others are in pain. But if they have Christ or Christmas in their heart, then Christmas will be experienced under the tree.